Thanks for staying with us. I'm Rick Holmes. And on this first day of the new year, a story now of New Jersey craftsmanship that will stand throughout the years. Timber forged from the forests and farms of New Jersey being rescued and repurposed give an amazing new life. I recently got a chance to visit a family owned and operated wood mill located in Irvington. was formed five years ago. Wedged between the railroad tracks and Interstate 78 in Irvington lies acres of American timbers aged by time and the elements. Uh, this material here, we've, we, we just recently got in uh, for semi-load, so uh, it goes in and out on a regular basis. Owner Gary Horvath says a lot of the wood, oak, maple, and cherry is from trees right here in New Jersey. It's also from barns and buildings more than a century old. The beauty of this old wood, we're not going to get anymore. The beauty lies in the craftsmanship. Rough sawn, hand-hewn boards taking root in all of Gary's projects, like the beamwork and walls of the Barrow House, a new restaurant in Clifton, which opened back in October. Yeah, everywhere you look, there's something different for the eye. Owner and designer Dean Marilaka has transformed the interior of one of the city's last farmhouses, dating back to the 1890s. And using these old reclaimed materials and repurposing them um, in a new way kind of brings their own story in, but then also allows you to kind of uh, create a story for the space. Each creation and each space is unique. The use of the wood is remarkable. Here's a real eye popper. The use of this smalted maple fell during Hurricane Irene to give an almost surreal feel to the floor and staircase of a private residence. We like to leave the bark on and allow the contour of the tree to, to have its own lines to it. So we like that, that cool live edge. We like people to enjoy this material. Just some incredibly original designs from the guys at Antique Wood. Uh, all right, Jason Kahn here with sports and speaking of the hardwood, we're talking about Seton Hall going for its first uh, conference win tonight.